Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Battlefield 1 beta. Uh, so if you enjoy videos such as this, then make sure to hit the like button down below and check out my channel and subscribe if you like the content you see. Anyway, on with the video. So I'm going to be splitting this video down into about six subsections, going over the performance, the graphics, the gameplay, so how it feels, the balance between vehicles and specialist weapons and guns, etc., any bugs I may have encountered, and also the overall feeling of the game, so my expectations versus reality. So number one, performance. Generally, I haven't had any any lag when playing the game at all it's run so smoothly so smoothly um, I can't describe no frame rate drop at all when explosions are happening I mean this game is nuts when it comes to action you know planes crashing tanks blowing up I mean behemoth when that comes in like you would think that that would lag, lag make your Xbox lag a little bit but not at all it runs so smoothly and this leads me on quite nicely to graphics as well the graphics are absolutely beautiful uh, like the, the explosions especially are just like I wouldn't care being killed by a grenade every single time just so I can see the explosion because it looks so good. I mean, the scenery as well. I mean, a couple of times when I played the game, I did just stop and kind of just kind of look at the scenery around me and look at the look at the map itself, like in the distance. I mean, even even things like up close and personal, like little details inside the house, they've got it pretty much spot on. It's absolutely fantastic. Now, gameplay, how it feels. Now, I was a little bit worried that it would feel a lot like. Star Wars Battlefront because it does look a lot like it. I think it might run on the same engine. Uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I didn't have anything wrong with Star Wars Battlefront. I think it was it, to me it was more of an arcadey game that you kind of jump on every now and again. You don't really need to sweat it because it kind of I don't know. It feels more of an arcadey game to me. But overall, it feels a lot like Battle Battlefield, which is brilliant. I mean, it feels like Battlefield 4, um, which is good because that was such a success. Um, I don't think they really wanted to take away from the fact that it is Battlefield. I think they wanted to keep to the Battlefield feel and uh, not take away from that and ruin it for the fans. And I think it feels absolutely brilliant. Now, balance. I was worried about the balance in the game, especially with the behemoth. So things like the blimp and the train that goes through one of the maps. Now, I've only experienced the train about once or twice. Once on the enemy team and once on my team. Now, the train gets called in when your team is losing. And I haven't experienced the time yet when you use the behemoth and actually fight back and win the game um so it is pretty balanced you can just about do it it's really strong uh, i mean the weapons are really strong themselves but they're really hard to use they've got a lot of bullet drop on them um and the kind of the crosshairs don't counter out the bullet drop either so it, it, it's pretty balanced i mean you can kill it as well but it takes a while and it, you know you've got to use your tanks and things and really hammer into it but i feel like the behemoth is balanced really well um, now the specialists, which I was also a bit worried about, they're balanced really well as well. I used the flamethrower dude, which is what I'm pretty much calling him now, once. His pros are that his flamethrower is pretty much amazing. It's so powerful, up close, about 5-10 meters, you can kill someone in seconds. Um, you can pretty much set them on fire, then leave them, and then they'll die. It sounds horrible, but that's what you can do. However, you are very slow, and you have only got your flamethrower and a melee weapon. So if you're up against someone with an LMG at a distance or a sniper rifle, then you're pretty much going to die. So you kind of have to kind of stay inside buildings. You cannot wander out into the desert or into any open land because you will die. Also, I believe you're meant to be wearing a gas mask for the whole thing. However, I think mine glitched out for a little bit because I didn't have it on me. But that didn't seem to change the gameplay a little bit. But I think, obviously, it does close down your field of view a little bit. Which, again, gives the enemy a slight advantage. And puts you at a slight disadvantage. Because you've got such a powerful weapon. Guns, I think it's hard to say at the moment. Because there's so few of them in the game. All the classes, they're pretty much the same at the moment. There's no difference uh, no difference within within the, um, the specs of each gun. So it's hard to say at the moment on guns. Now, I encountered a few bugs while playing. Mainly down to the menu. If I wanted to pause the game... And change some settings then it would freeze and be really laggy so I'd pause the game five seconds later it would pause and then scroll down and then five seconds later it would scroll down so that's a bit annoying when you're watching to change your sen sensitivity but it doesn't really matter it's a beta they'll fix it in the uh, final release hopefully um, I did fall under the map once though that was weird I spawned on someone uh, it was a squad spawn and he was under the map and I just pretty much floated forever until I uh, redeployed which took me a while because I had to pause the game and then redeploy. I have had a few bugs to do with the gas mask um, with it sort of coming off and on and not really staying on my face um, or at least it going on then me not seeing it and then if I've jumped on a horse it will come back on and then disappear again it's a bit weird but yeah they're only really minor bugs nothing really to do with the major key part of the gameplay but I'm sure they'll be fixed again by the final version. Overall it has met my expectations again like I said earlier in the video um, my expectations were it's for it to be a little bit like 
a mixture between Battlefront with the way it feels. I know that sounds weird because that's in the future, well, not future, whatever, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. But, you know, it's it's very sci-fi with, with laser weapons and lightsabers, you know, blasters and whatever. But I was thinking that it would feel a lot like that because I think it's on the same engine, but it really doesn't. It just does feel like Battlefield 4, but it's been taken back to World War World War One, which is, I think, exactly what they wanted. I mean, it feels brilliant. The weapons are brilliant. It's just generally an amazing game. However, the only thing that lets it down for me at the moment in this beta is for the Insider program. I don't know if it's going to change in the future tomorrow when the full beta gets released, but there's only one map and two game modes available at the moment, which is okay. You can play it for a bit, but I think after a while, I just get a bit repetitive. I thought they were going to re release two maps. Um, however, I don't know. They might do in the future. I don't know. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong, but they might do tomorrow. I'm recording this very early on into the beta. Uh, the beta is going to be going on for a week. So who knows? They might release three maps, four maps, five maps. I don't know. So overall, I think I'm going to give the uh, the beta a 8.9, I think. I know that's very specific, uh, but the only thing that lets it down is the menu bugs uh, and the lack of maps and game modes. But again, that's really just me being very pedantic and very specific I mean other than that I would give it a 10 pretty much like the gameplay wise it's absolutely fantastic if you haven't already I would recommend downloading it uh, it's going to be around for eight days I believe which is a pretty long beta and I'm sure it'll get you pumped and want, wanting to pre-order it as soon as possible anyway thank you very much for watching I do hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit the like button down below comment your opinion on the beta or if you haven't played it tell me why etc and also check out my channel because you might see some stuff that you like uh, some more Battlefield 1 content. I also do Halo content, etc. Loads of stuff. I do quite a bit. It's mad. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.